Hey everybody, uh, this is Mo Automata here, your favorite editor, and I'm uh, coming to you live with a, a nice chill back episode of uh, Intern's Play. <laughs> See, this week, uh, Toku and Shinzo decided to get a little bit of alcohol poisoning, so um, they're default, so uh, I'm going to cover for them with just a nice chill let's play. And so, uh, so sit back. Grab some snacks, grab some drinks, and we're uh, we're just gonna try and cruise on through this for the next half hour. <laughs> so tonight we're playing Valhalla, a severed punk bartending action, which is a uh, just what it sounds like. We're getting through the intro here. So, uh, I know next to nothing about this game. It came out January of last year, 2016. Uh, I played a little bit of it already. I played about through the first day. I backed out just so I could get like a nice, decent idea of what was going on. And, uh, I so, saw, uh, yeah, Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Uh, this is set in the dystopian, far dystopian future in a uh, run-down city called uh, Glitch City and we're a bartender at a little local shindig called Valhalla uh, okay that's Anna, she's a little I don't know what she is yet, we really haven't delved into this and uh yeah, this is important here <laughs> But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, where was I going with this? Mm. So apparently we've got a package. So this, uh, was described to me as a, a, uh, what's it called? A visual novel with just a little bit of gameplay, like a tiny mini game, in which you gotta mix drinks. Um, nothing too complex, nothing timed, just nice and chill. And uh it was it was I was told that this is a meme based story, whatever that means. So hopefully this will be slightly entertaining. Uh, Alright, so we've got a new membership to the Shining Fingered. Okay. We have to have eight hundred bucks in our account, and we can save, and we can browse the newspaper. So we've got a phone over here, we've got our apartment with a lovely um Oh, what do they call these tables? I don't know. So, we've got our cat, Four, and Jill, who's our main character here. You uh, know, we've got our boss poster. I don't know how many people would normally keep a poster of their boss in the room. I normally don't, but I haven't had a really an outstanding boss yet. So, we've got our Metal Gear Solid box, I suppose. And our collection of alcohol, and our fantastic array of laundry. Now, uh, so this game is just kind of just a simple little read-through game. It's very wordy, very much like some of the other stuff that we've played on the channel so far, as far as visual novels go. Uh, rates are in the world. It just gives us a little delve into what's going on in the world of Glitch City. So, uh... Normal bullshit. Oh, I didn't want to go there. Mm -hmm. Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Do, 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 do. So, uh, in this world we've got this infamous vigilante hacker known as, uh, what do they call her? Okay, real quick, we've got cyborg fashion gladiatory combat, that's, sounds fantastic. I would love some of that. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I guess Alice Rabbit. That was a different hacker. 
Oh well. And we've got a vigilante hacker on the loose. And this is sort of a, a game of uh, bartending. Or, yeah, bartending and uh, waifus. So, let's get right into it. Tuesday, December 13th. Actually, I believe it's February 4th right now. Specifically, the 2.38 in the morning. So. So this is our, uh, our co-worker, Gillian. And we are playing Jill. And I don't know much about Jill, so she was pretty straightforward from what I've played. I mean, granted, the top comment on Steam, uh, when I was looking at this game, he said I just want Jill to step on me, but, you know, let's, let's, let's see how far we get. Oh. Hello. Oh, I, I guess we can change the channel. That was the, the girl we saw in the intro there, but... <sighs> Is that Gladius Cup Noodles? Oh. I could sure go for some cup noodles. Anyway. Alright, so the bar might be closing. And neutering her cat left her broke. Yeah, it can work. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the piano man just so we can get through this because this is all just tutorial. Alright. So we're going to go P piano man. And this is the extent of the game portion. Uh, there's some money management later in, I think. Um, you can buy stuff for your apartment. And two, three, four, five. And we need three of these. And the car machine is literally just raw alcohol. So if it says like um, with optional, you can just dump in a shit ton of alcohol to get people drunk faster. And that will, I'm assuming, uh, I assume, uh, create different branches and story. Oh, apparently we can double drink. <laughs> yeah, this is where he's talking about the, the raw alcohol. And... That is our boss. Apparently she's just a total badass and she's got a robot arm. I don't know. And she's got a passed out person. You know what? Boss can put whatever responsibility he, they want to on their employees. I've been stuck with some bullshit stuff. Hmm. Time to start the night. Alright. Oh no. Dogs. I still, okay, I guess I've played this already, but I've played the first day. Uh, they never explain whether these are just dog people or just dog dogs, and I'm pretty sure they're just dog dogs. There's apparently a bunch of corgis and tuxedos. Jukebox here. Just punch in whatever we got. Alright. Time to make drinks and change lives. Oh no, a man with a mustache approaches. Alright, so, we gotta get this buddy a beer. He looks like the big guy. So, I wonder if that means we should get him a big drink. Bop, bop. Chew, dopo. Or, planning gride? Planner gride. 
and a shit ton of booze. All mixed, not on the rocks, not age. Shika 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 boom. There you go, slam that one for me, buddy. Hmm. New Jersey 3. <laughs> I don't even want to know what happened to the first two jerseys. Good grief. Well, I guess he probably means that this would be the third jersey. So. I guess what happened to the first jersey? So, uh, this is the uh, news, uh, the lead lead editor, or I guess owner of the newspaper. So think of him as a uh, a black John Jonah Jameson. He just he just wants his pictures of Spider Man. Who and I guess this world is the equivalent of that hacker. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of this world was. People get desensitized. Okay, like I was having trouble saying it too. Oh no! I guess that's that's true in some way, isn't it? Just just gotta live in this rough world and. Stories just get worse and worse. I hate watching news nowadays. But <laughs> uh. So we've got this guy who, uh, I guess he does their, uh, restaurant reviews, and he's, he's not very good. Psh. Oh, that's probably accurate, but very mean. Hmm. <sighs> I don't really had any problems with food critics. Then again, I work at a pizza delivery location. It's not like we're anything fancy. It, 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 it's literally pizza. I work at pizza delivering pizzas. The other thing is we don't have a, a, a dine-in, just a, a uh, carry-out delivery. Pop, pop. So we're going to double up on everything again. Shaker, shaker. There we go. So, Mr. Donovan, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Big troubles in Big Donovan town. I don't know. I'm not a comedian. Mm. <laughs> this place smells like soap and dog piss within my constitutional rights. Uh, it's within my constitutional rights to go to hellhole. <laughs> Poor Gillian. It's just the entire time he's back there in the bathroom. Just, just, just scrubbing away. That poor bastard. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm, I'm, I'm insulting a bit, like, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. Celebrities. Nah, not really. Not at least. Not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with you, you have a serious VIP client as a client, and I don't see you boozing your shit. Well, I don't really think you're much of a special client. You just seem to be a newspaper. Uh, the, the editor of a newspaper. What do you call that? It's not right. 
I'm the editor. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's so much as a fall from grace so much as it is people want to see their idols be on the same level as them. Wow. Well, it's more about looking for the human side of them, in which they are human. Well, you just put people up on a pedestal and it's, it's not good. It's not good to do that. Because they're just people. Yeah, it is. It's pretty publicly indecent. Hmm. Even if that's the case, I don't centralize, sensational, sensationalize, <laughs> desensitize. I can say that, but I can't say sensational. Sensation sushi. What people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl's wearing at the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. <laughs> Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see that they're human, you know? Hey, that dude plays a nice guy, and it is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It really just shouldn't be instigating a behavior that shouldn't be... It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. I cannot speak to this. Or tonight. Or this morning. <laughs> I can't speak the big words. I cannot the big words good. No, I'm a lab rat. Help. <laughs> Help hit the world conquest. Uh, oh, that calls to a much earlier time in Warner Brothers animation. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? We like the priests who's published confessionary stories and they got excommunity and it's communicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. They do? Figures. Eventually the people from these stories will know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would also hurt me. I really like hearing our clients, our clients rant about our lives. Oh, and I guess it would hurt them too. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. No. It just seems like it's something impersonal to just start writing about people you know. Is it really that special? I had work, everybody calls me Mr. Dawson, a boss. Oh, and that's what the reading is. It is. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? I don't know, those are the very, very kind Moe eyes I see there. I don't know, I think I've just caused shit in that workplace. Drink another one, do you? I don't know what. Uh, nah. I was gonna say I was gonna try and add a bunch of. Let's just boost the booze on this one, but... Uh, and then for these suckers. You know what? Speaking of booze, this entire thing could technically be considered a booze time for the interns. I'll mix in the rocks. Slam that. He didn't call it a hellhole. And that's because he's pissed drunk now. So we got this bloke named Sven that wanted to just give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that though, the bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? 
Hmm. Oh. Huh, you still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? <sighs> I can't imagine what working with a uh, investor would be like then. I don't know how much truth there is in that. <laughs> Just sent him on a rampage as he, as he went out. Uh oh, what's the matter, Gil boy? I don't know, Gilby. Just tuxedo wearing corgis. Yep, just tiny legs, can't do nothing. Oh, that's right, we got a sleeping girl in here. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, apparently our next anime character is coming in. Good punch. And one of these suckers. And... Age that, mix that. I'm just going all in on this optional camera chain. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the dog is in smoke. So, not smoke. It's, uh, there's, there's a reason. Ingrid McDougal. Alright, I guess she's Scottish. McDougal. Hey man, Mondays are part of part of the weekends, yo. Right, there's some days where I just you, you can't go to class because you party a little too hard Sunday night. I've I've woken up many a Sunday with strange bottles just strewn across my desk. Mind you, I wake up at my desk. Oh my! Okay. All right then. Wow, this guy's this guy's a jackass. Oh, decent taste as always. Ah, I think they have a decent taste in music. <laughs> okay, apparently our boss's reputation proceeds are... Yep. The Red Comet. Alright. The woman who fended off mall, mall rioters by herself. Knocked into the cult one by one. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, apparently she's, uh, tough enough to straighten out this punk with the metal neck, I guess. I don't know what that's about. He's a bit of a Frankenstein. Hmm. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's a woman who owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. That, that would have been a sight to see. You know, I've seen I've seen Toku pretend Toku pretend to be a llama once. It was it was terrifying. Okay. So we're going with the pile driver this time around. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, four. All mixed. Split. Oh, shit. Still went up all that speed. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Where's this coming from? Okay. Alright, that's an interesting way to take this. That's true. Oh. Yeah, no, I mean, just... Flying is a tough thing. I'm not even gonna get into all that morality nonsense. Anyway. Cringe weed of our. Oh. One addle hide and a shit ton of alcohol. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> it's like drinking a silic asshole with a spoonful of sugar. Okay. You know what? I've got tequila in my fridge. I, I could. I could, but I'm not go- uh oh. Ah, aged. Gotta do this again because I botched it. But uh, I've, I've got tequila and I've got sugar. In my fridge right now. I don't know why I have to kill in my fridge just to keep it at room temperature. <laughs> Granted, I think it's like a shot of tequila left. Oh, I get that feeling all the time. Try taking up a hobby. Might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Don't let it set in. Don't let it set in. Don't let it set in. <sighs> Which is... All of those things are expensive. Oh no. That's just weird. What? No! No! Oh good. Okay. <laughs> just no! Don't do that. Well, then that would just make you dishonest, sir. I, I never found a channel that I wanted to watch. I guess we're watching wrestling tonight. Oh, hello. We've got, uh, we've got Nick on the line. Let's, let's see what happens if I pull him up. Uh, da 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 da. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Let's Play. Tonight we're playing Valhalla. We're playing Valhalla? Uh, I'm in the middle of a Let's Play right now, and I figured I should call you. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> yeah, give, me this, give me the specs on Valhalla, like, what right. exactly is this game? Alright, it's everybody broken, Is my mic coming in clear, by the way? Yeah, you're fine, you're fine, bro. Uh, okay. Let me just get you in for a little bit. I think we're almost to the halfway point of today. So, uh... Can I introduce myself? Nah, uh, nah, I'll throw up your name up there. Oh, okay. We, yeah, we know whatever. who you are by now, bro. Um, I'm, I'm Toku Sentai, what's up? Yeah, hey Toku, how you doing? <laughs> uh, I mean, no, we're, we're you playing. probably were worried about me because I killed myself in the last Let's Play, but I'm still alive. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I told them all about that at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, alright, so we're, we're playing a bartending game. It's it's part, um... Oh, we just got to the halfway point of today. So Valhalla is a bartending game? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a bartending game in which we're, we're playing this, this uh... 
chick named J Jill. And uh, and we can see my save data right here. So yeah, I played the first day. I've All right, make sure point. you take the route when you um, make sure to call a cab for the person to go home because yeah. you want to make sure you, the person you're serving you know drinks to doesn't. Yeah, you yeah, know, be responsible. Die. Get get them their future Uber, <laughs> their space Uber. No, we can't do Ubers anymore. That's racist. Oh, oh I'm sorry. What, what is it now? Lyft is is that the hip and upcoming thing? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, think, I think it's, it's Lyft. Just, I think it's meeting one of the other shadier drinkers there and asking for a ride home. <laughs> you know, the uh, one with the one eye. You the know, big aged old, Yeah, yeah. He's get the eye scarred out of his face. Yeah. He's got the big eye patch. The one that tells you war stories like, I remember back in the day when I fought in Nam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he's yeah, not yeah, looking yeah. for pussy. He's just looking for someone to talk to. <laughs> nah, so this is a, a visual novel with a bartending mix in which you are a bartender and you're just going through waifus, essentially. And uh, every uh, once in a while you have to stop and make a drink. And you can, you can uh, either boost people up super heavy and get more options out of them, or you can uh, keep it light and let that brick path take go as it is. Okay, uh, yeah. is there any way for you to show the screen so I know what's going on? Uh, I, I guess I, I'll just I, blindly commentate then. Yeah, no, just, just, just you know. Alright, so uh, we got a uh, Jill here and she's like, at least I didn't get locked up this time. Okay, what? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> alright. So uh, well, I, I mean... You know, being a bartender without your license, I can understand. It's uh -oh. one of the struggles. Oh shit! It also a robot. doesn't help that Jill's probably fourteen. Ah no, no, we're we're all twenty-one here, bro. Everybody's right. above age, so we've got a what looks like a robot coming in. Which I mean, I already know what's going on because I played through the first day already, just to get a feel of the game. I, I wish I saw what was happening. Nah, you'll see it later. Okay, uh, so I guess gotta, it's just blind gotta, let's play. We got this. Young, beautiful woman here with bright, sparkling blue eyes and blue hair. So what can I get you, miss? Uh, Master Specialist. Sai P. Sagari? S-A-S-A-G-I-R-I. Of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps, at your service. So we've got security. And <laughs> she's okay. like, wait, that's too long. Just call me say. Okay, so what can Mecha I get Sangria, gotcha. Yeah. Let's see, how about she's in the mood for something sweet, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice, but not cool as in great, and especially not as big. So gotcha, more... warm orange juice. Yeah, warm orange juice. A sweet drink, preferably a cold one. That's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta get her something small, sweet, and icy. Uh, and because I've already done this, I know that I believe... What is it? Is it a blue fairy? No. I'm gonna drink a blue fairy. What kind of yeah. fucking game are we playing here? It, it's set in a, uh, in a dystopian bar, uh, future. I told Toku to tell you I'm done <laughs> with this porn shit. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting added to this. Oh no. We, I only play furry games. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we, we all know. Let's try a sugar rush. What's a strip sugar rush look like? Damn it, I need something on the rocks. A mountain fairy? Moonblast? There we are. Sweet, girly, happy. All on the rocks and blended. So this is blended, and I haven't done a blended drink yet. So I gotta, Jesus Christ, you're gonna blend the fairy? You fucking monster. I'm blending the moon. I'm blending a whole entire moon. And it's what no, the fuck? It's no moon, it's a it's a space station. You know what will happen to the Earth's water tides if you blend the fucking moon? Nah, uh, it, it'll be fine. You will literally cause orbital catastrophe. Nah, we can just stick Shane in space, it'll fix it. Ah, oh, I forgot to put the rocks <laughs> on it. <laughs> I forgot to put it. Just, just fill Shane up with a bunch of fucking wine and just send him to space. We'll fix it that way. Yeah, uh, that'll work, right? Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask too. Oh yeah, just this big grinning Shane just staring at the Earth from space. I'm gonna make a Photoshop of that for you to no, include just, in there. Just, just this big Toku face. 
<laughs> Toker did, you hear, face. did you hear I'm having our commissions, by the way, for the channel? Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, um, I have someone who's actually really good at art that's uh, wanting to do uh, icons for the channel and my banner, because my sister is really good at it, so I got her working on it right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, I figured we kind of needed a little visual update. Alright, 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 don't flip your shit, but apparently this, this military branch is called the White Knights. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. They're from the Valkyrie Corps. I know Corps. these people. Are they such a guys who deals with riots and such? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. Oh. I was thinking oh. of the Beta Corps. Oh, shut up, Nick. <laughs> You're a Beta. You're a little 12-year-old Beta. You, what would, uh, what, You're whatever. half of one man in a trench coat. <laughs> hey, Two look, of you would make up a person in a trench coat. I'm the lower half. I get pussy. You don't, you got a dick hanging on the back of your shoulders is what you got. <laughs> no, no, we gotta take it back. Take it back. This is a, this is a chill episode. We, we chilling today. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Sure. So, no, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people. We don't deal with riots or nothing. In fact, you could say we deal with the aftermath. Okay, so Insert I bet she's... Insert riots reference. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, we can't do that. I didn't actually say it, so I'm abiding by the rules. Okay. Fine. So we, we she's so she's a medic essentially. And a firefighter. And a police officer. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's she's the judge dread of the aftermath. Well no shit. She could take on the four horsemen of the apocalypse and save yeah, the child yeah. at the same yeah, no, time no, while resting that same child. <laughs> No, I she's, saved you, but she's I found not a doc this meth in your pocket. She's not a doctor, though. Apparently, she's not a doctor. All right. She's a really good medic, but she's a dirty cop. She hasn't met anybody that isn't glad to see her when she uh see her arrive. You must well, have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I, I was saving the some girls, people, there's always a first time for everything. From the top of a collapsed, collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and it was this one time we were cleaning up after a car crash, water pouring out of a hydrant, with the lights scattered around. With the lights and the scattered pieces of glass, it almost looked dreamlike. <laughs> That's not what I meant by shocking sights. What the hell? I don't know. And she was like, well, well, I'm sure you've seen some pretty weird shit out there. And she's like, oh yeah, I've seen all this pretty show stuff while chaos is ensuing. Oh. Okay. What a pretty city. <laughs> I mean, everything's going to shit, but it's really nice. And I'm holding this bloodied corpse in my arms, but you know. I mean, I'm just arresting this corpse that had a bag of meth in his pocket. Oh no. She's like, I've got the sights. I said sights, like bad sights. And she's like, Oh, you mean size? Yeah, a lot of people sigh sometimes. <laughs> oh no, she's the dumb. She's the dumb. Oh, oh god. She's the this tofu. I'm starting to regret being a bartender. Yeah. I don't regret being a woman, though. You're not a bartender. You didn't pass the bar exam. You're in the bathroom cleaning, cleaning up after the corgis, is what you're doing. What? Why do we have a corgi infestation in the, in the bar? Uh, apparently do over we the weekend. Apparently, okay. No, no, no. Here's a whole thing. Now, apparently over the weekend, a bunch of corgis and tuxedos came in and had a party. Yeah, we need to we need to call an exterminator or something to get those removed. No, classy, classy drink. Uh, what do you think? Should we have a brand teeny or a fringe weaver? Mm, oh my god. Weaver. Hold on, dude. okay, so I'm looking at classy drinks, and there's a classy drink called Bad Touch. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, there is a song about that, but I can't, I can't remember a further reference, so we'll, we'll just leave oh that god. joke out. Okay, but... so, so I, oh, oh, you weren't here for this, because I started this before you jumped in. But a French Weaver is one Adelheid and nine Caramatrine, which is just raw alcohol. And this description is, it's like drinking an ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. So I'm just gonna uh -oh. chuck this puppy up with alcohol. 
I mean, I'm an interesting bartender, you know, I make really good drinks, you know, like, um, one teaspoon of alkaline lemon water, and, uh, oh, I watch this. you know, uh, five cups of gin. That, that's... <laughs> five cups. I call it, I call it the, uh, Knight Rider. It's a David Hasselhoff favorite. I'd imagine. Who? Hasselhoff. No, I'm sorry, I... I, I was reading only Jill's lines earlier, so... This is what makes it difficult that I can't see what the yeah, fuck is going no, on. Yeah, I, I no, didn't, I didn't set it up so that you could see, so I was like, oh no, I had to swap my stuff around. This is this is why we have the pre-game, but a different kind of pre-game. Yeah, like, not, no. not the same way I do with Toku, because this, this is the non-alcoholic version. Alright, so with Jill, what I think our better name would be Jillosaurus. What the fuck? Gillosaurus. Yeah. Are, are we a dinosaur? Oh, uh, we are now. I'm okay with this. Oh, oh, apparently we do not like being called by our full name. <laughs> I mean, I, I did say I was into furries, but that was for a joke, but I, I guess it's happening, so fuck it. No, don't fuck it. We already established you can't fuck a puppy. <laughs> That hasn't stopped me before. Oh, no! No, you can't! Don't do that! <laughs> it's not cool, bro! <laughs> bro, that is not chill. You are not abiding by the chill rules. That, re that reminds me of these animations that are going around uh, on YouTube, uh, Birds and the Bees. It's uh, I can't remember where it's from, but it's these guys and they do animations of like parties and shit, like really young people, and they're cart- they're like caricatures done as birds and bees in animation, trying to tell you that like the do's and don'ts of sexual harassment or whatever. Okay. And the only thing that I got out of it is you probably shouldn't fuck a bee. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine that would uh that would go over well. <laughs> like Especially... the whole time it's like, dude, you can't fuck that bee, it's too drunk, and the whole time I'm thinking, I don't wanna fuck a bee. I'm allergic. Oh, the other thing is, I'd imagine if, if, if it became an actual parallel, uh, that means whenever you would decide to mate, your uh, genitalia would explode from your body when you were done and you would die. My question is, where's the bee hole? <sighs> Am I gonna have to eject you from this call? <laughs> You already made the mistake, you might as well go through it. Let's con let's continue with Valhalla. What's going right. on now? Uh, right now we're talking about all the different types of uh, security, <laughs> aka the White Knights. Uh, and she's going on about how there's like riot hand or there's riot squads and medic squads, and there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Yep, and apparently they get signed to companies, uh, they get assigned to companies to handle different counts, types of accounting and that kind of stuff. You usually ask right. because they speed up the process. Uh, so no. after a good ten hut and fedora tip, we have to serve all of them. Apparently, there's a whole squad dedicated to fight. There was a whole squad dedicated to fighting, fighting school bullying. <laughs> but they were doing a nice job. But then the fad in quotation marks the anti-bullying campaigns passed, and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an official capacity. I, I'm just so confused. All right, she's leaving. Oh, by the way, we do have a passed out person. Just, uh, just a woman who fell asleep outside, and our boss brought her in. Oh, okay. And, uh, calling them a cab is going to be out of question now. No. Nah. No. Nah. Oh, and she left her helmet. Oh, we got an explosion. Uh, and our sleeping person just woke up. And she's flipping her shit. Uh, I would be too. <laughs> that was that okay. Welcome to Valhalla. V Valhalla? Am I dead? D does that mean Uncle Ignis is rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy down down bar true? No, Uncle Ignis was, uh, was Mormon. He didn't make it to heaven. 
Uh, he was a fantastic chef. It was sad about the blindness, though. So are we like the Dragonborn or something? Nah, we're just a chick named Jill. Fuck, we, we played the wrong game. Nah, I was gonna play Skyrim, but it was like, eh, everybody's playing Special Edition. A lot of nords come into this bar. Looking for good wares. <laughs> you know my dragon claw disappeared, it's quite a pity. I wish my wife was around to see it. So anyway, could you look for that dragon claw for me? Also, I'm looking for something stiff. Oh. I can't sit idly by as a dragon burns my village and slaughters my people. <laughs> That's... I'm gonna guess we're talking to a Jarl. Uh, yeah, no. And then there's the other- what was the other line at the beginning when you're in the wagon still? I wonder if she still puts June of her berries in her mead. Oh. And now we're being declared as rapists. I mean, blunts don't really taste well on their own. I would put berries in them too, but I think that fucks up the rap. I said mead, not weed. Oh, same fucking thing. You filthy stoner. <laughs> Hey, I don't smoke anymore. Oh, oh no, calm down, lady, calm down. Alright, I have to get her calming drink. Uh, A calming drink? Yeah, gotcha. What, what do you think? Sweet, bitter, sour, spicy, bubbly? You mean, like, a drink that has all of those, or are you asking me a selection? Yeah, it has a selection. Uh, let's go with sour. Sour Sounds dream. calming. Yeah. Uh, fluffy dream. Fluffy dream sounds nice and soft. A sour fluffy dream. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them will, and you'll be sleeping soundly. Oh. What? Um. I'm just putting one bit of alcohol in this one. God damn it, Bert. I trusted you to make perfect, healthy drinks, not to drug our customers. Nah, that's fine. We're only giving her one. And we'll mix it. And done. Perfect. A full dream. <laughs> what, what is this? It's a drink. It's a, it's You're a, in a bar. It's a balloon with a warhead and all in it. Bar serve drinks. A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. And now she. <laughs> to calm down, what did you spice it up with? Rupees? TTX? Pumpkins? Hold up, oh. pumpkins? <laughs> God no, I would never even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know? Add it ever anything like that to your drink. Oh, we got it. Is my it a white tips? girl in Uggs? Do we have pumpkin no, spice? No, no, she's, she's, well, I can't actually tell because it's, uh, we're, we're in like a maroon bit bar, but she looks rather tan. And oh, our, a lot of. apparently we're going off on the whole, like, we, we lose our job. And it has nothing to do with the morality of drugging her, it's more so I, I don't want to lose my job. Who cares about drugging her? I just don't want to get fired. You go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They'll sell drug tests for the drinks. Tell them the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. And our coworker came back and told us the explosion was two flying cars crashed. Ah, hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you should check inside the toilet paper's locker. What about- OH MY GOD! I'm assuming the corgi's got him there. <laughs> I'm worried what happened. He, he's, he's just going, what? What? Why? Why? What the hell? <laughs> Apparently these corgis partied hard in that bathroom. Did, did she not like her drink? No, she just came back. Oh. He tried giving her bandages at first, though. I used all my bandages already, though. Oh, our boss apparently has a, a dangerous reputation that precedes her. It got some punk-ass, like, Frankenstein dude to, like, 
calm down and behave. Like he was being kind of a dick at first, and she showed up, and he's like, "Oh, oh, I'm not gonna be mean no more, cause she's scary." <laughs> he's like, "Wait, you know her?" And it's like, "Nah, but I know of her." It's like, "Okay." I don't find anyone that passes out in front of a bar scary. No, it wasn't. No, that was a different guy. This big red-haired yeah. dude. Oh. Yeah, no, so so when our passed out lady here went to go get uh, to the drugstore and used our boss's name, he offered her bandages, <laughs> assuming that she got beat up. I become violent sometimes, it's not my fault. Not you, the boss. Yeah, I know. Nick, you're third string intern, you don't get to be the boss. <laughs> but I don't have a license, I'm perfect for the job. I think that makes you exactly not perfect for the job if you don't have a no, license. No, I'm completely unqualified. This place would totally accept me. Alright. I have, um, I have a, a two-month experience at PetSmart. Can I be the bar manager here? Oh no, we've offended her. <laughs> what, you don't like dogs? No, she's like, well, I mean, you, if you don't want to drink it, you could just leave. But it doesn't matter. The, the drink is doesn't lose any value. And she's like, "What? What are you saying? I, I'm invaluable? Are you, are you saying that drink? Are you gonna let that food and your work go to waste?" What bitch? You can drink it or not. I don't really I, care. I know. I don't God want to do this. I guess this is our second waifu. Still a person. I'm trying. This is like the really bad Cinderella event of an anime. I'm, I'm gonna guess that's what's going on. <laughs> and now she's slamming it. Good. Time uh, for her to go and pass out in front of the bar again so we can move on to the next one. Oh, I'm kind of glad that I put only one pip of alcohol in that. Versus the max of ten. She's probably a lightweight. Hmm. Now we're making up. Apparently we're not mad at each other anymore. I don't know about you, I'm still pretty mad. Nah, yeah, well, you're always mad. I mean, I got all that disrespect after I made a free drink. I mean, I guess this entire thing could technically be a booze time. Oh, so we're not the only bar. Yeah. <clears throat> but we're the best bar. Because no. we're the protagonist. That's probably not true, but okay. Given that this bar is apparently about to be closed down. Well, every every other bar is, you know, probably completely normal, pretty cool, chill people. And then you have our bar, full of the colorful haired, that spiky individuals who used to be angel demons. Um, my name is Gilosaurus Dark Raven 666, serving edgy you, drinks. You leave 24 Darkness 7. Dementia Raven way out of this. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, what, not darkness. What is it? E Ebony, Enemy, Enemy, Enemy. Darkness, Dementia, Raven. E Ebony, Darkness. No, no, it's not Ebony. It's Enemy. Anima. No, nah, didn't you ever? Uh, <laughs> did you? Did you never ever read? Um. My Immortal. Yeah. Yeah, it's Ebony, Darkness. No, she misspells her name, so it's Enemy. Oh yeah. Like half the time, it's Enemy. Look, I was I was pretty drunk when I read that thing because I ah. needed to be to get through the whole fucking thing. I just watched the uh, dramatic reading of it, featuring was, MS Paint drawings. It's I was fantastic. Uh, I was gonna do a dramatic reading of it, but um. Dude, that should much. be our next visual novel. <laughs> <laughs> a visual novel of my immortal. Yeah. I can't wait to fight I, my. I can't I wait bet. to fight Voldemort in the uh, My Chemical Romance mosh pit. <laughs> I bet somebody's created him. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, my, my favorite quote from it was uh, it was like one of the sex scenes. I can't remember, but I just remember the quote. And then he put his thingy into my thingy. Yeah, no, I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I got third stage leukemia. Oh no, that that. Okay. Apparently her dad got beat up by a pianist once. Still um, have my sense that he just got too excited. Chaz does that to you. 
I guess he's also I guess he's also part of the White Knight Corps. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of his pianist friend who had just died. Apparently he mixed all the flavors that his friends seemed to like the most. Oh. Hmm. What a swell guy. Yeah. By the way, I'm pretty sure this is a fictional drink, so... Oh, so we know her name. So this is Kim. So this is our second wife. We've met Say. And we've met Kim. Okay. Oh, and she also works at the Young Men to Die. Which is a newspaper oh. that uh the boss came in and was like our first client for tonight. Oh, so she's a journalist. Apparently. Hmm. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, no, he was here. I would suggest being really careful considering, uh, we're about to be shut down. I don't, I don't see why else a journalist would be here. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> <laughs> chauvinistic horse blower. That needs to go up on a list of insults. Horse a, blower? A chauvinistic horse blower. Oh, I see. Bronies aren't that bad, okay? Hey, man. Hey, man, you leave me alone. You leave me and Toku alone. We're good bronies. We don't spill our cancer all over the place. Look, you're fine. Toku, Toku, on the other hand, I don't think he's okay. I think he needs professional help. Mm, we tried. He's so forceful about the things he wants people to... Uh, that he, force, then at that, he's so forceful about the things he wants that people have done it before, but they have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work as server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop called and were asked where the hell he was. Huh. Why is the pizza boy doing server maintenance? Oh, that's how that's how demanding this, this guy in charge of the newspaper is. He convinces <laughs> people to do shit before they know what's going on. Yo, though. Yeah, what kind of fucking pizza boy knows <laughs> how to do server maintenance? Dude, this pizza yeah. boy. I was just talking about how I worked at Pizza Hut. <laughs> Do we... we <laughs> no, man, if somebody asked me to drop my job and asked me to do server maintenance, I would totally switch to that. that no, I understand, but it's, it sounds like he was just asked to do it on the spot. Which, he was? You know, if that's the that, case, that's that was the, the true life no. If you could just do fucking server maintenance like, like that. I mean, I, I could figure it out. There's something called Google. <laughs> Hold on, let me Google how to... Maintain yeah. this server. Oh quick. shit, our internet's down. Let me Google that. <laughs> Did you try plugging the server back in? Would you believe that the guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience? Oh, I had I had no idea. Is he still a pizza boy? I don't know, I don't think so. He became a pizza man. Yeah. Nah, I don't know. It's like... I don't like my job, but I don't know if I'd swap over to another job just because somebody just demanded me to. <laughs> well, uh, my, my thought in life is, as long as you're not cleaning shit up 24-7... Oh, yeah, no. Don't, don't, don't feel bad about your job. I, I, I refuse to clean bathrooms. That's like the one thing that I tell every person when I go into a job, and they're like, is, so you, you got any, like, things that are, like, no-goes, and I'm like, bathrooms, if we have any I, kind of, like, regu regularly scheduled cleaning, I will not do bathrooms. I'll do sinks, actually, I'll do floors, uh, I'll do walls, but I will not clean a bathroom. I actually do that, uh, every single night, and, uh, it's, it's pretty hellish, <clears throat> especially when you work in a restaurant business. No, oh, it, it uh, makes me physically ill. It is, it is insane. Um, probably, <clears throat> oh god. The worst I actually had to do um, yesterday, which I don't mind bathrooms too much. I'll put up with it. I'm pretty resilient, but doing the women's restroom is so bad, and I don't know why, but women are just fucking dirty when they use the restroom. I have no idea what it is. Because like, they stand the a foot above the toilet, so they don't touch it. <laughs> the toilet As somebody gets... who lives with three girls, I understand. 
The toilet gets clogged like six times a week, and the worst thing that happened just the other day is someone forgot to put bags in the tampon boxes. Oh, no. So I had to bleach that shit out. I don't even want to know about that. Like... Well, here's the worst part. It, they weren't using it as a tampon box. They were putting used toilet paper in it. Oh, what? what? So it was just filled with shit. It was just filled with <laughs> shit. What the <laughs> I mean, hell? I, I mean, know. granted... Granted, you do live in, like, downtown Columbus, so... Yeah, I, I, I don't know, just really disgusting women just probably use that bathroom. It's... it's so sad. But I'll just leave the horror stories at that. There's plenty better ones, but I gotta, I gotta save those for a very special Let's Play. Or we could just do a sequence called Bathroom Times with Nick. I'm sorry, I was focusing on the... She was talking about how as a child she wanted to live in a koi pond. <laughs> she was probably the one who misused the woman's bathroom. From the sounds of it. Yeah. She doesn't... She doesn't sound like, uh, she's got a full deck of cards. No, no, our, our, our poor co-worker just finally uh, emerged from cleaning up after those filthy, filthy corgis. <laughs> I mean, how did they throw toilet paper out the window? Did I get rid of them? Just laying chocolate all over the bar? I don't know. Apparently it was over the weekend. <laughs> I, need to make a, I need to make a picture of just, like, me sweeping a bunch of corgi corpses into a trash bin. No! <laughs> we needed a corgi exterminator, but you know, we're a poor bar. We don't have the money to fund that, so I just have oh, to do it myself. It, what was the best friends we're talking about on their Dark Souls playthrough? Bark Stoppers. What? They were, they were talking about, um. Super Best Friends. They were talking about uh, some van that they saw that was like Bark, stop, bark Stoppers. They're supposed to, like, stop your dog from barking. Uh, uh, but, but you look at it I'm, and it's like, oh no, <laughs> bork bashers. I'm I'm a hipster. I've never heard of that before. I don't know. Something about making dogs stop and then it turned into killing dogs. <laughs> oh, death grips. Gotcha. What? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll send you a link later. You'll see. Uh, I don't think I want that link. It's it's good music. It's good music. It's oh, it's just different. It's just different. Okay, it's music. <laughs> yeah. If you want to call it that. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't mean to uh, offend any any weird underground people somehow watching this that happen to like death groups. I always think of like the kind of audience that they would uh, we would get, and it, it would be people like hard... us. Yeah, I know, but it's it's hard to imagine like. Like that weird niche group of people who was like, "Yeah, I like anime, but also interesting music, but also I'm not really social and have a really odd sense of humor." Actually, I think most people that like anime watch or listen to Death Grips, so maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, the other one that I find weird. There's a correlation between like 1920 swing and metal. Like, a lot of people who like metal tend to like swing. Mmm, that's what well, kind of metal. Like, metal's kind of vague. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. And so is swing. Swing is super vague. Hmm. But I mean, there's just sort of a general correlation between the two. I suppose so. Yeah. I, I can't think of the, the correlation, but I, I there's would just, guess. There's just something that's like, oh, well, this is interesting. I like this. There just needs to be more specifics, like, um, I don't, just, I don't... just to give an example, I had a friend who's like, yeah, I like metal, and then he's got all these guys around him, and he's like, oh, what you like, uh, you like, Mastodon, you like Blink-182, and he's like, ah, uh, but I like Bon Jovi, so, <laughs> you know, when, when uh, you say metal, you don't mean, like, no, I say, when I say metal, I don't metal. mean, like, the, the, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more like, uh, it's not black metal. What is it? Like Dio and Ozzy Osbourne. Like that 70s... Not power metal. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Like classic metal, I guess? 
um, that's what you want to call it. Is is rock metal a thing? I think I'm sure rock and roll is kind of a thing. But, I mean, rock and roll itself is a thing. But, well, no, yeah. I, th I think there's like a combination of like between rock and metal. I I think rock uh, metal is a subgenre of rock and roll. I think it falls into the the um, the subset. Uh, not really. There's actually different, like, genres of rock, like soft rock and, um, <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorites to make fun of, uh, butt rock. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Butt rock, you know, like Nickelback and Matchbox 20. Oh, we all know that, um, uh, <laughs> what is it? Cold Moon is the Wonder Wall of Metal. <laughs> God damn it. I gotta look this up now. Nah, forget it. Alright, so we, we just wrapped up the day, so let's look. So, ah, let's just go over real quick what just happened. And, uh, apparently we need to buy a plant for our apartment. So, we'll go to the shop and we'll do that. I'm thinking the giant Venus flytrap. Nah, I think there's only like one. An thing. Yeah, just one. A hollow plant in memory of a real potted plant. <laughs> Put a bonfire next to it. Oh no. But I don't have a coiled sword. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got ourselves a nice little plant. It's a, it's a little shrub. So, uh, we're wrapping up day two. Let me go ahead and save. We're wrapping up day one, rather. So we had the uh, the manager of uh, or the editor of the uh, Augmented Eye, which is a newspaper, come in and we talk to him, and he's kind of an ass hat, real big spooky looking man. And yeah, that'll work. Whoa, whoa! You taking off there, Nick? Yeah. You okay? I'm I'm still here. And just okay. It's just your computer started revving up its engine. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's taking off. Mm, yeah, no, that's what I was asking. My computer is so, technically a plane. Yeah. So we had a, a big scary manager dude from the newspaper come in. He yelled at us a little bit. Called our restaurant a shithole or a hellhole. Did I ever tell you the story of why my computer does that? Nah, it's a short, I got... it's, a sh it's a short one. Toku right. ran it over with his car. <laughs> I don't, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know for him yet. That's, that's <laughs> just enough information. Afterwards. That's just enough information. <laughs> Alright, so then uh, after that we had our uh, punk rock Frankenstein come in. Our Scottish punk rocker. Uh, I love star fucking hipsters. Yeah, pretty much. That He was, he was all about booze and bitches. Uh, and then he got spooked by our, our, our boss when she came in, and was like, oh no, she's spooky. Uh, and then following that up, we had our break, and we went, called Nick. Nick decided to jump on. Yeah, I did. Well, I decided Nick should jump on. Uh, probably Nick against or my better Shinzo team. or Shinzo? What Shinzo, the fuck is my moniker? I think it's Shinzo at this point, but I, I've got you tagged as both, because I know we call you Shinzo. Just like people call me Mohana instead of I mean, Mohana. I could have, I could have any kind of moniker. I don't really care. You can call me uh, MC Truffle Shuffle. Oh well, now that's got to go on the tags. <laughs> Just put it on the tags. Yeah. Someone's looking for Truffle Shuffle and they run into this video. Oh no. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they'll like it. If somebody's looking up the Truffle Shuffle, they'll probably like this. They're just trying to look at videos from Truffle Shuffle and they run into this video and they're just like, wow, this uh, my night actually feels complete. Yeah. Alright, so then uh, we met our two, I guess, first two waifus of the game. We had a nice, gentle uh, Sia medic with the uh, White Knight's Valkyrie branch. And then we met the uh, very, very aggressive Kim, who is sort of a Sundre. Sort of. Yeah, sort of. Poorly written syndrome. She's got bitch syndrome. Yep, we uh, learned ourselves about uh, Jill today, who's our main character. And, uh, kind of a toughie. Just, just, just a hard ass. I mean, granted, I think I've already said it, but like the top rated comment on Steam when I bought this was, um, I want Jill to step on me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
I wouldn't be a hard ass too if I was a bartender and you know fucking explosions and military people coming into my bar all the time along with dogs was like a normal thing. Yeah, I still don't know if they were well humanoid dogs or not. I'm assuming they weren't. Oh, party corgis the, every Wednesday. I should have figured. Yeah. So, all right. So th th that's enough for today. So if you guys like the video, leave a like. You know, favorite, subscribe, do the whole jazz. I'm gonna thumb down this video. Yeah, you do that. Just like <laughs> just like Des does every time we post a video. Well, yeah, there's a difference. I'm not a piece of shit when I do it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you guys like uh, if you guys like this video, if you like the the chill out uh, episodes, uh, maybe I'll do more in the future. But right now, we'll just cover for Toku and Shinzo. And I guess uh, if, if you want more of me, you can check out my side YouTube channel, Butternut Strutter. It's an ASMR of me doing a sort of things like. Sticking um, Papa John breadsticks into a jar of butter and recording the noise while soothingly telling you a story about uh, the Germans during World War One. Well, now you have to do that. <laughs> you know that, right? We can't have false advertising on this channel. Uh, All right, I, that would be unacceptable. Uh, Interns do ASMR. Yeah, no, if, if you want to see more of a uh, Mohanamon, if you want to see me do some other stuff with you guys, uh, just leave a little comment, leave a little favorite, leave a little like. Just, just, just get that love going. And, uh, you know, tune in next week. Maybe maybe if it gets a uh, good enough rating, like maybe 20 likes, uh, we'll see about bumping this to being like two shows a week. So we've got Toku and let's Shinzo. Gun for, let's gun for 5 million likes. Nah. Five million. Yeah, five Come million. On. Okay. Come on, uh, bros. We can do it. No, no. Just, just keep it at 20. Don't tell Shinzo. <laughs> yeah, 20 no. million gotcha. Yeah, 20 million. Uh, and and uh, hopefully uh, Shane and uh, Toku and uh, Shinzo will have a, a new Nikapara batch for us ready by next week. Ye yeah, we will. We didn't have money for alcohol, but we're going to do it this time. Oh, no. You don't have to drink. You know that, right? <laughs> Um, no, it's it's in my contract of being on the interns channel. I kind of have to. Oh shit! Don't tell them. <laughs>